In 1961, deep in the Idaho desert, three men were alone inside an experimental nuclear reactor. They were performing a routine procedure. Then, at 9.01 p.m., an alarm. When rescuers arrived, they didn't find a fire. They found a physics problem. This was SL1. To shut it down, a single control rod needed to be lifted, four inches, for reasons no one has ever been able to explain. One of the men pulled it 26 in 1.5 milliseconds. The reactor went supercritical. The water inside flashed instantly to steam. The pressure wave was so violent, it launched the 26,000-pound reactor vessel nine feet into the air. Two operators died instantly. The third was found pinned to the ceiling. But the true horror began after the explosion. Radiation levels hit 500 Röntgen per hour. A lethal dose. In minutes. Rescuers could only enter for 60 seconds at a time. The bodies were so contaminated. They were buried in lead-lined caskets, sealed inside a concrete vault, even in death. They were dangerous. The reactor itself was too radioactive to move. It was buried, right where it stood. A permanent tomb for a 1.5 millisecond event that no one lived to explain. Stay curious.